Now I want to focus on the regions, the countries in Europe, Middle East, Africa. I have a favorite person I go to when I want to know what is happening, particularly in the regions that he oversees. And I want you now to give a big welcome to my friend, Osama. Hi, Sylvia. I'm really glad to be here with you today. My name is Osama al -Zobi. I am lead the, I lead the engineering and the innovation organization uh, in the Middle East and Africa region for Cisco. I know that one of your favorite words is innovation. So before we get into the details of how that can be achieved, um, I want to hear about the needs that you are seeing, particularly in your region. What are the needs and how can technology and innovators help with that? Yes, you are indeed 100% correct. Innovation is the key word. Today, we are experiencing an unprecedented, accelerated change that we have never experienced before. Innovation is about creativity. Innovation is about problem solving. Today, our customers, our partners, as well as our team members in the Cisco need for innovation more than ever before because innovation help us unleash the capabilities and the potential of technology to allow us to utilize those technologies and help move at the speed of the business delivering on business outcomes. You are a leader in the region, but also globally, and you're connected to so many people who are, are taking risks and, and really building new solutions. How has the DevNet community been a leader in driving innovation? DevNet has been a cornerstone for all the achievements that we have done. Today, our technologies are leading and they are supporting our customers to deliver on the business outcome. Yet, the requirements are accelerated and they are moving at a speed we have never experienced before. Therefore, the DevNet community is allowing us to deliver on those special cases that are presented to us by our customers, in which cases not only we are using our capability within Cisco, we're also partnering to deliver on those requirements that today our technology is not delivering and we are delivering it at speed and at much lower cost to achieve the business outcomes our customers are expecting from us. I like the way you, you talk about partners and the way we're partnering uh, outside of Cisco in the greater community. Do you have a couple of examples of, of people, of innovators who have already made an impact in your region? Absolutely. In our region, the Middle East and Africa, we are actually very lucky because we have an unbelievably diverse environment. We are working with public and private sectors and our customers are really adopting technology like we never thought possible and they are really moving all the way beyond the leading edge on how we use technology. And today, our partners are really taking the level of in integrating our technology with our customers' workflow and really unleashing the capability and the potential. For example, one of our um, healthcare customers where our partners who is really innovating at speed, how they utilized and they managed our uh, video solutions to be integrated with the, mo the mobile app that's provided by this healthcare provider to really reach their patient at speed and simplicity. We have similar cases in the banking sector and financial sector. We have similar cases in education where our partners also supported our customers by really unleashing the capability of technology to provide simplicity and capability that the technology provides. I like the cases that you mentioned, you talk about finance, healthcare, and most importantly, definitely at a personal level, education. We have been talking, and I know that you have been writing and talking and sharing and educating on digital disruption. Yes. That's happened. That's, that's happened. It, it, we had to embrace it right away. Um, what are some of the things you have observed in this most special year um, about how digital disruption wasn't an option anymore. I really love having the conversation with you, Sylvia, because, you know, when we talk about this, it's like we are speaking at the same frequency. 
there is no doubt we've been talking about the digital disruption for quite some time. And that digital disruption has really accelerated transformation across all industries. And many technology and industry trends has fueled that acceleration. Yet, just towards the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, a very unfortunate pandemic hit. And that even accelerated the transformation even further. And we've been talking about how those technologies will transform our lives. Today, our customers are really uh, believing in this way more than they ever believed before. And now they know that not only technology will transform, but technology will absolutely solve a lot of those challenges we have today. Our customers are really now the, uh, you know, the, the, the innovation strategy, the digital transformation strategy is really front and center to every strategy that they build. And now they have really put uh, their entire capability at full speed in order for them to transform even faster. Well, it's happening, it's here, and every solution, every idea matters. We have a lot of challenges, a lot of opportunities, and here at DevNet, we want to make sure that everyone knows they can get started. It's never too late to get started, or even if they are great experts in a technology, if they see a simple solution, that's okay. Simple can be helpful. So. You know, to close out, since you know, I think of you as a great teacher to me personally in the realm of impacting and really going for making a difference in everybody's lives, I would like to ask you, what is your advice for students of all ages? Well, you're very humble. Thank you. I learned from you as well. Uh, my advice really, which is basically advice that I adopt, number one, is we really need to learn every day. Today, we are in a world that's unbelievably hyper-connected. We can easily get caught and waste so much time on the technology, on social media. Yet those tools can really be extremely powerful to help us, to enable us, and really they are creating tremendous opportunity for us. And I do agree with you. Simplicity is really, for me, is very powerful. If we, the innovator, can really make things simple, that means we really created powerful tools that help others. My advice to the student is, A, make sure you are learning every, you're learning something every single day, and B, make sure you take some risk and capture the opportunity that's in front of you. DevNet has really created tremendous opportunity for a lot of people, not only in a specific country or a specific region, it's really global community that are learning, and they are contributing and they're really benefiting from this opportunity. Thank you for being a leader and thank you for uh, making the time for people who are wanting to make a difference and reminding everyone that everyone is welcome. I appreciate it. My great pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time, Sylvia.